I want to start trying to do daily vlogs, maybe maybe five days a week or so. Um, I think I'd I'll experiment by putting these on the Patreon first. So here's the first one. I just starting the day on my my morning walk. I'm finally able to get a good look at the the paint job. I guess it's still covered in dew, but man, it looks so good. I didn't so I didn't like there out any of these uh, scrapes because they're just gonna get it's just gonna get scraped up again but I mean besides that like the paint came out really really nice so my uh, supporters have got me they contributed enough money to get me the uh, iridium go and this is really cool it, it gives you a uh, hot spot when you're out away from cell signal using satellite internet it's very very slow though it's only for like uh, receiving like weather um, charts, you do a post status, up text updates, emails, uh, send like lo real low res images. But it would be it would be really nice to be able to get the kind of weather updates from that, and you could use predict wind. Uh, so I think I'm going to be getting this soon. The only my only hesitation is uh, I'm on the wait list for the Starlink, and I'd rather put the money towards the Starlink because it's about the same price. Um, but the, the benefit of Starlink, it's the SpaceX thing where uh, Elon Musk put up all these satellites that cover the whole world. It, the only problem is um, I've been on the wait list for a while and I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it before I leave. So what I'll do is I'll probably end up waiting to the last minute. And if this doesn't come, I'll get the, the Iridium. Um, but it, these would be pretty cool. I should be able to like post if I get well, if I get this one, I can actually post videos probably uh, at sea. Um, it'll be interesting trying to mount it up. I, I think I can fit it on my, my arch, or maybe I can just take it out when things are calm and the boat's not rocking too much. This actually comes with like a dish that kind of tracks the satellite. It's it's pretty cool. Uh, so we'll, we'll, that'll be, uh, I'll talk more about that in an, another video once I get that set up. My current communication setup when I'm away from cell signal or VHF range is it's the Garmin InReach Mini. Um, I've had this for a long time. I got it, my first one when I was paragliding but this will let you send. It's basically like a sat messaging device, but it only does text instead of phone, which is, I mean, it's pretty good. And it's, it's much cheaper than a, than a real sat phone for the, the device and the and the plan. And this device also lets uh, post uh, tracking updates. So uh, you can see where I am on my, on my passage. I just got off the phone with my boat mover and the marina. I'm gonna use uh, Sailcraft and Triton again. I got my launch date. It's gonna be May 3rd. It puts the pressure on to get the boat ready by then, or at least all the underwater stuff. And it pretty much is ready to go in the water. Uh, just a few little things I need to kind of deal with the rigging so the mast can attach easily. But once it's in the water, I'll probably end up spending a couple of weeks, you know, tuning the rigging, getting the sails, not back on the boat, and finishing a few interior projects. And then we'll, we'll, I'll try to try to day sail it every day I can. And then we'll try to leave on June 1st is the goal, beginning of June, whatever, the, when we have a good weather window to sail to Bermuda. So it's exciting to have that launch date now. Just got to have a goal to work towards. The workshop is kind of infested with these uh, carpenter bees. Uh, they're pretty much everywhere. They're kind of eating all, eating all the wood. You can see this whole structure is kind of falling down. They've eaten most of the eaves. Fortunately, the, the building's made out of cinder block, but you know, the rafters and stuff, I don't want them to eat those. I tried to make these, uh, I found these plants on the internet to make these carpenter bee traps. Um, I caught one bee, but with that one, and zero bees with that one over a few days, they don't work, at least not for mine. I think the problem is they just have so many other good places. Why would they bother with that, with that wood? Uh, so I, I might try spraying some stuff on them, see if I can get rid of them. I just don't want them to eat this place when I come back. These birds keep flying in the workshop too. I want to try to put casters on the sewing machine. This is like the third time I've attempted to do it. Uh, what I'm going to try to do is put them off to the side here so that I can just kind of wheel it around, but they won't be sitting on the wheels all the time. And in order to do that, I've got to put some angle plates on them. And these were just left over from the garage door installs. I just need to widen up these holes and drill two more holes right here. I got this new uh, clamp from Harbor Freight. It's really nice. It like just bolts onto your uh, your drill press and then you can just click there and you're ready to drill. I really like it, it makes it easy. And I also got this magnetic drill bit holder, which is pretty, I really like that too.
There's the part. Man, I'm gonna miss this shop while I'm out sailing. The last thing I need to do is I need to extend this back. And for that, I'm going to use, ah, this guy. My little rotary cutter. I think we're in business here. So now the, the holes line up. And uh, I don't know if this is gonna be work well enough. There's not a good way to attach the casters on here. You see, I'm trying to do it like I did on my table saw, and this has worked really well. It's just so simple. Just bolt them on the edge, and that way I don't have to lock and lock them. I can just lift the saw up and move it wherever I need to, because I like to have my caster so I can move it outside if I'm sawing a lot of stuff, just to keep the dust in the shop down. I mean, it does do a pretty good job of catching the dust in this in this bag. And I think eventually I want to do one of those dust collection systems, uh, maybe next year if I come back here, uh, so I can have it like connect to this, this saw and this saw, and then have like a hose near the drill press. Um, I might do like a like a station here that has my miter saw and my, my band saw and table saw and everything. So I was just about to get rid of this washing machine. Um, because it didn't work. I figured I it was bouncing around my trailer when I moved it out here. I thought I might have broke it. But then I figured I'd just make sure that the water was working. And uh, the water was working, but I had this hose hooked up to it. And it's it's like completely clogged up. So that's why that's why my, uh, my washer wasn't working. Uh, so I just need to replace a hose and then I'll have laundry here. It's unfortunate now I'm about to, to, to set sail. But at least the person running it will be able to do their laundry here. And luckily I have one that does work right here. Just put some of this stuff because it always leak bad if I don't. Well, this guy was so rusted I couldn't get a good uh, seal on it. So I have to pick up a new one. I even tried to clean it out. It, the threads are just so messed up on here. All right, we are back to the casters again. We just put these bolts in here. All right, that's tight. This one tight. So the wheels are not touching the ground as it stands. We got another package of stuff today. Um, this is a oh, box cutter. I lost my old one. I was devastated. I really like this. Uh, what's it? NT cutter. They make good, good box cutters. And then this is the exhaust hose. I had to get it in a two two lengths of it. Hopefully, it will still work. And then this guy is the little fitting for the uh, diesel heater. So this will go in the back of the, the hull. And I've learned when I get a new package, I get this little burst of motivation to install the thing. And if I do it within, you know, 20 minutes of getting the item back at the workshop, it will just be done and over with. Otherwise it will just sit on a table for weeks and weeks and never get done. And then I'll have to like dread doing it. But, Let's just get the, knock this out and get it over with. So it looks like a pretty nice piece of stainless steel fitting. I'd hope it would, it cost me like $60. Getting the extra, the nicer exhaust hose and this fitting I think cost as much as the, the entire heater. But these are the good parts. I can always replace the heater if it breaks, but these should, these should last a while I'd hope. So there they are, I guess this is like a, goes on the, inside here or something maybe so i'm gonna need to drill a pretty big hole uh unfortunately the the two inch drill is a little too big and the one and three quarters is too small and it's gonna be pretty tight if i do that so i think i might go with the bigger one this guy got some silicone around there to seal it up so it's time to drill one more hole in the boat No! 
So then the exhaust will fit right in there. Just need to drill. Th oh, I gotta do three more holes. So four holes in the boat for this. Uh oh, come on, you. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Oh no. So that's on there, nice and good. Just have to hook it up to the heater now. So I took off the old muffler and. I guess a couple of people had mentioned that these mufflers were not to be used like inside an area like this and they had a hole in it and I thought oh mine was a different one mine didn't have a hole in it but then I realized there is a hole in it and the exhaust can come out of there so I don't know if it would be probably, probably not a great thing so I'll probably see if I can find the right type of muffler to use too. How to set up like this in the meantime, there's always one more thing, right? Uh, lots of people said my fuel pump won't work in this orientation. Well, I got news for you, it worked just fine. But just to make you happy, I'll see if I can turn it at a little bit of an angle there and get my uh get my hose away from the exhaust a little too because that also bothered some people. I ended up having enough exhaust hose to do, to do it with just one hose and then so I was able to, to, to take the muffler out so I have no muffler uh, but and then the only thing I need to do is get some uh, some little insulation and some some clamps so I can have this nice and secured but I think we'll be good to go. We just got a new addition to the workshop. I got a new fridge. Well, new to me. My friend David gave it to me. I traded him some some sailing gear I didn't need because these these two little mini fridges weren't cutting it. I got to keep myself and my team fed. So that's all the boat work I ended up doing yesterday. I ended up spending the rest of the day doing my taxes. It's been kind of a challenge trying to figure out what my income comes from and how to expense the boat stuff and projects. But uh, I also, also wrote a lease for to rent the place out where I'm gone, which would be great to have someone here and uh, make a little bit of money uh, while I'm not sailing. Uh, let me know how you think about this type of video. I think it might take some of the workload off of me if I could just uh, edit everything just completely sequentially and then possibly even maybe hiring someone to turn these into the like the bigger videos that sh kind of go into like a single topic once a week. Uh, that's one idea. We'll see. Uh, see you guys next time.